Thanks for your interest in serving your community as a storm spotter. This training should give you the basic information you need to be able to safely observe storms, to correctly identify key features, and to make high quality reports. If you're going to be observing storms from your house or another set location, you'll be observing and reporting what you can see from where you are. But if you're a mobile spotter observing storms from your vehicle, you need to understand some key concepts related to storm motion and spotter positioning. That's what we'll be discussing for the next few minutes. Storm spotting can be very dangerous, especially if you're in a vehicle. Safety is always your number one priority. And for a mobile spotter to be able to operate safely around storms, you must be completely aware of what's going on around you all the time. Spotters must be able to answer these questions at all times. Knowing your current location is critical. It may sound silly, but it's possible to lose track of your exact location, even in familiar areas. You have to have the most current data possible to know where the storm is, which way it's moving, and how fast it's moving. And it's also critical to know about other storms in the immediate area. It's easy to focus on your storm of interest and get caught by surprise when new storms develop. This is why it's a good idea for mobile spotters to work in teams. It's easy for a spotter working alone to lose sight of the big picture and possibly miss important information. Radar can help you maintain situational awareness and make it easier for spotters to operate safely around dangerous storms. It's easier now than it's ever been to see radar data, whether it's on your laptop computer, your tablet, or smartphone. You don't have to be a radar meteorologist to be able to use the radar data to help you stay safe and informed while you're spotting, but you do need to be aware that even the most sophisticated radar data has its limitations. Be sure that you don't confuse precision with accuracy when it comes to radar data. Websites, software, and applications make it possible to display radar data on highly detailed background maps that can show a precise location, like a street intersection, where a radar signature is located. However, with radar data, precise doesn't always mean accurate. Depending on a variety of factors, including distance from the radar, the location of the radar signature may be miles from where the actual weather is occurring. Spotters who interpret the radar information too literally could find themselves in a very dangerous position. You should also remember that in almost every case, the radar image you're looking at is not live and is probably several minutes old. If you don't take this into account, you could end up being caught in a dangerous situation. You should never assume anything when you're a mobile spotter. Remember, a thunderstorm is essentially made of air and water and is constantly evolving and changing. Storms almost never move in a perfectly straight line and they can change speed and direction quickly and dramatically. And when you're operating close to a storm, it's almost impossible to recognize these changes until it's too late. If you're a mobile spotter trying to get in position to view the updraft area of a thunderstorm, this is critical information. Whether you're looking at radar data in your vehicle or talking to someone who is, you should know everything you can about the storm and how it's moving and changing. Know what you're going to do if things start to get dangerous. Storm spotters, especially mobile spotters, need to stay constantly aware of what's happening around them. We call this situational awareness, and it's a critical part of you staying safe when observing storms. Here's a supercell that's producing a tornado. Based on what we can see in this image, our spotter seems to be in a fairly good position to see the action area of the storm. The storm in this case is moving toward the northeast. The spotter has thought ahead and has an escape route mapped out that will take him to the south and away from the most dangerous part of the storm. This all sounds great based on the picture we see here, but remember that situational awareness means looking at the big picture and having a good sense of what's happening not just with the storm you're observing, but with other storms and everything else around you. So here's the big picture. That escape route to the south doesn't look so good anymore, does it? Safety depends on you being constantly aware of everything going on around you. Supercell thunderstorms are capable of producing all kinds of dangerous weather, including tornadoes, giant hail, and violent winds. Generally speaking, you'll get the best view of the action area, 
That's the part of the storm where the updraft and the downdraft come together of a supercell thunderstorm when you're positioned to its south or southeast. This assumes that the storm is moving northeast. In this case, our spotter is in position several miles south of the heavy rain and hail and several miles east-southeast of the most likely location for a tornado. The spotter knows this because he is getting constant updates from someone who is monitoring the storm on radar. In many cases, a supercell has a well-defined area that the spotter can focus on to watch for dangerous cloud features. But when a spotter is dealing with lines or clusters of storms, there are not many visual clues that can make for useful spotter reports. So positioning yourself to view the storm can be very difficult. In these situations, the best reports may be of a measured or estimated wind gust as the leading edge of the storm moves through, or hail or wind damage after the storms have passed. You should never assume that the storm you're observing will move in the same direction as it is now, or that the speed of motion will remain the same. This is especially true with supercell thunderstorms, which frequently turn or move to the right of the direction they've been traveling, and sometimes supercells will even split into two storms, with one moving quickly to the north and the other moving southeast. It's critical that you have current information about the motion and behavior of storms in your area and to use this information to avoid the most dangerous parts of the storm.